So it is September 24th, 2019. We just got in two boxes from overseas. And as you can see, there's a big Arma logo on there, and this is a big box. I think if you know anything about Arma and where the industry's going, you know what's gonna be in here. Now, this is one of two of these probably in the country right now. You guys won't even see this video until probably November, maybe even December. And I feel very honored and excited to be one of the first people to show you <laughs> the 8S Arma Creighton. Oh my God. We fight the power, power to be. Come rule the world with me. It's time I fail, it's victory. So come rule the world with me. We can rule the world. <laughs> um. I don't even know how to get this thing out of the box, to be honest with you. I don't want to destroy it because this is legit. So this one, as you saw, there's a really nice green on the box. There's also an orange. This is the orange. So this is literally the orange ADAS Arma Creighton in the United States of America right now is in this box. One. And I get to touch it before all of you. Um, let's try to get this thing out of here. I don't want to destroy the box because it may need to be shipped again. Bear with me here, guys. Oh, bummer. There we go, that's better. So as you can see, it's got some size to it. Now this, what are we calling this thing? So I haven't been privy to anything about this. That's part of why we wanted to do this video is we wanted to get my initial reaction because it's legit. I haven't been educated on this. I kind of knew it was coming, but it was kind of one of those, hey, we have something for you to open up and do a little unboxing buying guide for. This is gonna be fun. So this is a fifth scale Creighton. Fifth scale Creighton. I'm gonna show you, this box has not been opened. It's still sealed. I have to cut the seals. Right away, I'm gonna show you some of the comparisons. As you see on this box, there's a ton of comparisons between the 6S, which is the eight scale lineup, and this. And as you can see, there's, a quite, there's quite a big difference there. Um, let's see what else we have on the box here. Um, looks like we have a little peek at our other color here, the orange. Here's more of that uh, comparison there. Or I should say the color comparison for the body. Let's cut the seal and get this thing out of here. I know you, this is probably killing you guys. I'm kind of putting around here for you. The seal has been cut. Here we go. Come on. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, we take this support box out of here. Oh, yes. Guys, this is a <laughs> this is a game changer here. There's a lot of insulation packaging here because this thing is freaking massive in here. I assume our radio's in here, which I think is a new radio. More good things. There's a lot of good new things coming out of this. Sorry if that was loud. I'm running out of room back here. Got a nice Spectrum radio in here. DX2E, very cool. Get my bubble wrap out of the way and the moment, nope, nope, manual. Gotta show the manual before I can show you what's in here. Yeah, I know you guys can see it peeking out a little bit. Uh, let's take this off. Oh, yes, yes indeed. And we're not secured down. Oh, it's, this thing is serious. This thing is bulky, it's tough. Oh, the weight of this, this has gotta be 35, 40 pounds. It's like a car battery, maybe more. This could be like 50 pounds. Oh, let me try to get this box out of the way for you guys. The packaging alone should tell you that this thing is a serious contender. Boom, Arma Creighton 8S, fifth scale. 
I don't even know where to start here. Um, so this truck will go, I've been told 55 miles an hour, and that's fast for a fifth scale. I promise you, this is a fast truck. So like I said, uh, available in this nice orange and black, also obviously comes in the green and black picture on the box. Another kind of, um, it's not really glossy, but it's not necessarily matte, it's kind of a satin finish. Very nice, but I mean, this thing is huge. This is great. This is gonna be a freaking blast. This is gonna be a killer arm of vehicle. And I got it, you know what? I think we just, <laughs> I think Arma might've just put the industry on notice that this is where Arma is at for 2019 and beyond. So you guys be prepared. Let's take the body off here and look what we got inside. Uh, looks like the body clips are a bigger, they're still tethered, but they're nice and big, just like you would expect from a bigger vehicle. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The freaking motor. I see five connectors, two battery trays. Look at this motor. Look at the fan on the motor. Huge spectrum. What amp? 160 amp ESC, smart ESC. The servo is underneath it. So the servo is literally the whole size of this ESC directly underneath it with a huge servo saver that goes directly into the steering rack. The bracing alone should tell you that this thing is built tough. But I mean, look at the arms, look at the, the material, look at the shocks. Look at the size of those shocks. What? And so I think I'm looking at the wheel hex. It looks like they're either like a 23 mil or 24 millimeter hex. I don't know for sure. I don't know if it's on the box again. This is legit my reaction to this. Oh, it doesn't say, unless it's on the other side. Um, uh, again, uh, still, let me regress. Let me bring the excitement down a little bit. So looks like we still have traditional three differential. One, one, one. Let me make sure there is a center diff. Yes, there is. Um, still have the pillow ball design in the front end. The rear end looks like it's about the same as the, so it looks like we didn't deviate too terribly much from what we know works in the eight scale side. We just kind of beefed it up, made it bigger, better, and it sure looks stronger, I can tell you that much. Um, let's flip this over. Ooh, the chassis's got some nice engraving on it. That's pretty cool. Is it engraved or is it etched? I think it's actually just printed in the aluminum, so it's not engraved. I take that back. Let's look at this. Look, look at that. Look at that dampening there. Oh, it's gonna, this thing's gonna drive awesome. The front, the front end is like a tank. The rear end's like a tank. The chassis actually has additional support, mil, like not really milled into it, but fabricated in. Looks like there's extra braces here, maybe to keep the chassis from scratching up plastic here. Wow. So I tell you what, guys, we'll, we'll definitely do a more in-depth video on this thing um, as we learn more and as I'm told more. But again, wanted to get this out there. By the time you see this, you'll probably have already seen the product video. You'll see the hype. We'll probably have some teasers up already. Well, we might have some teasers up like super early. But I gotta tell you what, guys, this thing, this thing's a, look, there's support in the body. There's protective tape on the inside of the body to keep it from scratching. Oh, oh. you know, it's the little things sometimes, and it's the little things on something big that make the difference. That's a good one, isn't it? Uh, good little catchphrase. Little things, um, looks like we have an additional Additional plastic piece tethered onto the body clip. That way your body isn't always stressed by just the prongs of the body clip. It's actually pushing on plastic that pushes on the body. Another little thing again. Look at the ground clearance. This is awesome. I tell you what, we'll let you guys go. Um, ask away in the comments if there's something you want to learn more about. Uh, by the time this announces and you see this, we'll know everything about it. 
So again, this is the one-fifth scale Arma Creighton 8S. Available soon, available for pre-order. You might want to pre-order one of these because if, it, if I'm this excited about it, everyone else is too. So pre-order this local Horizon Hobby retailer, online, horizonhobby.com, any of your favorite um, Horizon Hobby retailers. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.